Hi, I am Dr. Sridhar Archik. I am consulting orthopedic surgeon at Global and Lilavati Hospitals, Mumbai. Today, I am going to show in a small brief video how to give an intraarticular injection in the knee. Maybe a visco supplementation or maybe a simple steroid injection. So, I am going to describe how to do the procedure and I am going to show you two different techniques of injecting uh, in a knee for any intraarticular injection. Now, before we start, I am going to lay down the brief guidelines for the procedure. So the first important thing is that you explain to the patient what exactly you are going to do. You then allay all his apprehensions mainly about pain and then once the procedure is described you have to make sure that you have all the necessary equipment you have. For the sake of demonstration I am going to mark on the patient uh, but understand that in a normal setting this would be prepped and draped. So what do you require? There are few things which are important and I am going to show them one by one. Uh, first important thing would be to use a marker pen so that you define the landmarks clearly. You need a local anesthetic especially for patients who are very apprehensive. You need the injecting material ready. Uh, you need a syringe around 2 ml syringe with a small bore 23 needle for giving a local anesthetic. As regards to giving Visco supplementation you normally require a higher gauge needle which is supplied by the manufacturer. If you want to give a steroid injection a small 22 number needle will suffice. We will now move on to actually demonstrating the procedure on a patient. So I am going to describe the first technique which is the superior lateral approach to the knee. So you make the patient lie supine. Uh, we prepare the part with alcohol uh, solution and you should make it dry. Once the part is dry you need to use a sterile gloves. Now for the sake of demonstration I am just marking this but you should be using no touch antiseptic technique. So with the gloved hands what you do is you palpate the patella. What I am showing you now and marking is the superior pole of the patella. This technique is much more accurate and useful in obese patients. This patient is thin and lean. Once you mark the superior pole of the patella come around 1 cm down and mark a point which is the point of your injection. At this point then raise a small bleb of local anesthetic so the area is numb. It takes around 1 minute for the injection to act. After that while injecting what you do is hold the patella. Just push it a bit laterally and try to evert it a bit like this. So the axis is simple and then you need to inject the needle parallel to the ground like this and parallel to the patella at this point. As you go in, you feel a giveaway sensation and once that is done, you aspirate and then inject it. In case of an effusion, this is much better approach because effusion makes sure that your needle placement is correct. This is the simple approach and 91% accuracy seen when you inject it via this approach. I will now make the patient sit and show you another technique uh, which can be used only in thin and lean patients like this. In obese patients, I would ask you to avoid this technique. I am going to show you a second technique. Here the patient is sitting comfortably. This is a very comfortable technique for the patient. You need to mark the patellar tendon. So this is the lateral border of the patellar tendon. This is tibial tuberosity. This is the medial border of the patellar tendon. And this is the lower border of the patella. What you then need to do is just palpate the tibial plateau and mark it. So this is the tibial plateau here. So joint space is going to be here. So the landmark is very simple. You see the lateral border of the patellar tendon and you go just lateral to it and one centimeter above the tibial plateau. So your point will be now here and if you palpate you will feel that you are entering the joint. So from here entering the joint is simple. It is effective and if the patient is not obese it is guaranteed to go inside. What you need to do is incline your needle around 15 to 45 degrees which is like this towards the joint. You immediately feel the giveaway and you inject it. This technique is much comfortable because the patient is sitting. However, in an obese patient it is a bit difficult. So just know your landmarks, lateral border of the patellar tendon, tibial plateau, 1 cm above and lateral to the patellar tendon is your landmark. This is what you should use when the patient is thin and lean like this one in the demonstration. There is a small tip in very super obese and fat patients both these techniques can fail. So super obese patients with a 40 BMI the sens sensible thing would be to do a ultrasound guided injection rather than use these two techniques. 
Once the injection is given, ask the patient to use ice packs at home to reduce pain. Make sure that they understand uh, the side effects of the injections. Then there are two complications which they should be made aware of. Some people get flare-up of inflammation after an injection. So if they get excessive pain and uh, effusion which increases, then they should let us know. And if it is a flare-up, all you need to do is just add an anti-inflammatory. You prescribe a suitable analgesic for post-op uh, pain relief like simple paracetamol or if required an anti-inflammatory paracetamol combination. You also let them know that there is a small risk of infection and they should report back if they suddenly see a rise in swelling, the knee looks warm, red and they start getting fever. Treating infection at the right time is the most important thing. However, the infection rate after such injection is extremely rare when you take precautions the way we described in this video. I thank you for your attention.